Welcome back to Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas for day two of the Cabela's Collegiate Bass Fishing Open. It's, it's living the dream, fishing and fishing in college for sure. And obviously, we, I mean, we like to beat the other teams, but it's fun, you know. I know I've got a lot of really good friends that fish for other schools, fish for UNA, different UT Martin, places like that, and it's fun competing against them. You know? It's fun getting to hang out with your buddies on these trips. It's cool. We get to go to all, all the best lakes in the country and get good hospitality, and I mean, it's just a good, it's a good experience too, I mean, especially if you're thinking about fishing later on in life and fishing maybe for a living. Some of these guys probably will, so uh, it's a good experience. Back at Lake Dardanelle State Park in Russellville, Arkansas, the University of Wisconsin at Platteville started the day in third, but only managed two keepers here on day two. They slipped down the leaderboard, finishing out in 14th overall. Likewise, Louisiana Tech brought in 18 pounds on day one, but they too struggled under bluebird skies, weighing in 10.16 pounds for just over a 28 pound total and finishing out the tournament in eight. Arkansas Tech made a big move, adding more than 15 pounds on day two and climbing their way from ninth place to fifth on the final day. All right, did y'all fish something moving, something slow? Um, something moving most of the time. Um, we couldn't really get a pattern put together the past two days, so we're just running new water today and some of the stuff we ran yesterday, but still couldn't get three. All right, were y'all cranking today? Um, I caught the biggest one there on a chatterbait. And, um, caught some yesterday on chatterbait too. That was our main bait. Murray State started day two and fourth, adding nearly 17 pounds for a two-day total of 32.59, landing them in fourth place overall. Place coming into day two. The Tigers from Louisiana State weighed 14.79 yesterday for a sixth place finish. The first half of their team stepped up with a three fish limit weighing 6.98. LSU looking to add to it. You did 10.25, three fish, 10.25. That's a great job. That's our first team up over the 30 pound mark, 33.31. Feels good. We didn't really have um, too much of an expectation coming into it. We had all week to practice. Uh, this was our spring break, but our practice days were good one day and bad the next with the rough weather we had coming in. It was tough to kind of get to where we wanted. Um, so yesterday we went out and had a good bag, uh, solid. We, sit, we were sitting in six yesterday and today. We didn't know if we'd have the fish to upgrade or not, but we ended up uh, catching a few good ones right there at the end that really made the difference. All right, I think we've got a serious bag of fish coming up. We're gonna see what this will do. We've got Tarleton State University. They had a 12-28 as a team score on day one. Looking to make a big move on day two, and that's gonna do it. 15-31, best bag of the day so far by far. And with that, Tarleton State is in striking distance as the second half of their team heads to the scales. 27-59 is what you carry in. Last team to weigh in on this team, 575 gives you a 33-34, guys. We only had a day and a half of practice, so it was pretty tough. We knew it was gonna be tough coming in, and uh, we're pretty much shallow water fishermen, and the, during practice, we couldn't get bit that way, so we had to go deep yesterday, and you could tell our bag didn't produce that, and today we went shallow, so. That's a big move from inside the top 20 to the top of the leaderboard. With just one team left, the University of North Alabama steps to the These stage. These were our leading half of the leading team on day one. They had a 23.71. Right now, leading it up is over 33 pounds. Y'all are looking to make a mark, not quite, 7.13, 7.13. With the other half of the team left away, the UNA needs two and a half pounds for the win. We'll bring our final team up, and this is gonna be it for the tournament. These guys have a 30.84. They're going to see if they can take the lead. This is the University of North Alabama. We've got McKenzie and Tristan going to weigh in, seeing if they can get up over that 33 pounds. They have got a sack, ladies and gentlemen. 11.92, that's going to put them up over 42.76 for the tournament. That's your 2016 Lake Dardanelle champions. Y'all go shake their hands. I mean, they, they really caught them. They beat us by almost 10 pounds, I mean, so. I kind of saw that coming, you know, uh, but, you know, we, we went out there and we had a good day and we tried hard and uh, ended up second, so you can't really be too upset about that, you know. Them guys, you got to give them the credit where credit's due. Them guys went out there and won it. I want y'all to all give them a round of applause. They worked awful hard for this in a post-cold front condition. They've done a great job this weekend. 
They're going to leave out of here the big winners for this event. Thank you all so much. I mean, it's not just as much us, it's for the team, for our whole team. Like I said, for the school of the year points, we really need those points. You know, we've been school of the year two years in a row now, so if we could do that again, make it three years in a row, that'd be really hard to beat. After coming into this event seventh overall, the University of North Alabama climbs to fourth in the Cabela's School of the Year race. Here's a look at the rest of the top 20.